Go ahead and do this with me right now because these three ear techniques can flip on one of the most powerful switches in your entire body, your vagus nerve, cranial nerve 10. Let's start with the first one. I want you to take your fingers, thumb and second finger, and gently grab the very top part of your ear, not the middle, not the lobe, but that very top ridge. Now slowly pull it upwards and outwards, away from your head, and hold it right there. Don't yank. Don't tug hard, just keep a steady, gentle pull. Hold it for about 20 seconds and you can relax. And as you do this, you'll notice possibly a feeling in your head, be behind your nasal area, your sinuses. Some people may feel a little pop, a shift of pressure, or even a sense that their sinuses are opening up. That's because this move gently mobilizes the tissues around the eustachian tubes, the passage that connects the back of your throat to the middle ear, helping with drainage and airflow. And at the same time, you're stimulating nerve fibers that connect into the vagus nerve, sending this, these calming signals up your brainstem. That's why many people feel an unexpected deep breath sneak out, or their shoulders begin to drop backwards because the muscles start to relax. You may feel a little wave of relaxation spreading throughout your chest or your belly. That's your parasympathetic nervous system switching on, telling your heart to slow down, blood pressure to come down, your gut to relax, and your body to move toward balance. Now, you might even notice your head feels lighter, clearer right, right away. So I want you to do it again with me. And this time, remember, Grab the top of the ears, gently pull it up and outwards, hold steady, focus on your breathing. As you do this, you may feel a subtle release of tension right behind your eyes or your forehead, almost like pressure is leaving. That's how quickly this technique can begin to affect your circulation and nerve activity in your head. It's very simple, yet very, very powerful. Now let's move to the second technique. This one involves your ear canals. It's very simple to do. You're going to take your pinky fingers, the smallest finger you have on your hand, and you're gently going to place it inside the opening of your ear canal. Don't push in deep, just barely inside the entrance. Now what I'd like you to do is begin to rotate it slowly. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise in small circles. Yeah, you're going to hear a little scratching noise in there, which is normal. And you're polishing the inside of your ear. That's what I want you to think of. And by doing this gently, either clockwise or counterclockwise, you're stimulating the auricular branch of the vagus nerve that runs into this region, sometimes called Arnold's nerve. And as you continue slowly with these little circles, you may hear that little cracking noise, you may notice your breathing deepens. Your head starts to clear, or even your muscles in your face and your jaw start to relax. Many people compare this to pressing the brake pedal in a car that's been idling too high. Your nervous system slows into a steady, calm rhythm, keeping this rotating area moving in your ear nice and easy. Focus on how your chest feels, how your belly feels. You might even feel your digestion starts to shift. Your body starts to let go of that tension you didn't even realize you were holding on to. Now slowly remove the fingers out of your ears and pause. And just pause for 30 seconds. Notice the difference. And lastly, here's the most powerful one, especially if you struggle with stress, anxiety, or trouble falling asleep. This technique is done behind the ear. To find the right spot, you're gonna take your hand and feel just down below your ear, the bone here called the mastoid process. Come below your ear, you'll feel that bone there. If you can't feel it, you can look at the chart here. It should give you a better idea. Now, I want you to move your finger or thumb, wherever you're touching with, just behind it. Now, go a little bit above it. You'll feel a soft little depression, almost like a small hollow or groove. That's the spot we want. i like you to take your thumbs. You could do it both together. Put your thumbs in that depression. Press into it nice and gentle, and begin rubbing in small circular motion. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. Go in circles, keep your thumbs right into that depression. Keep pressure light to moderate, not painful, nice and slow, just enough to feel that soft tissue moving under your thumbs. Stay with me here. 
and keep rubbing slowly. This area is incredibly rich in vagus nerve connections. And when you massage it, you're directly influencing the parasympathetic activity. That means you're lowering stress hormones, steadier breathing, slower heart rate, lowering blood pressure, and a nervous system that starts shifting out of that fight or flight sympathetic mode into the calm repair mode, the parasympathetic. Keep circling around. You may notice your shoulders letting go, your jaw unclenching, or even your eyelids wanting to grow heavier. This is real. For many people, this is the single most effective ear technique for sleep because it signals your body that it's safe to relax deeply. As you keep rubbing like this, you're gonna do it about a minute or two. You can do it forward, clockwise, and backwards. Just notice how you feel. You're gonna feel calmer. You're gonna feel heavier, more grounded. That's the vagus nerve in action. And repeat it more than one time if you need to but just get in that depression and go clockwise or counterclockwise, your whole system will begin to start winding down. You'll start to notice your breath start slowing down. I want you to imagine yourself dialing down the volume knob on stress, turning your nervous system from chaos to calm. And after about a minute, two or three minutes, release it and relax. You do this right before you go to bed when your head's on the pillow, you're going to be shocked. Each of these ear techniques may seem simple, but they are actually powerful neuroplasticity tools. Every time you practice them, you're reinforcing new pathways in your nervous system, training your brain and body to exit stress more quickly and enter recovery more easily. Think of it like exercising your vagus nerve. The more you do it, the stronger those calming pathways become. Use the ear pull if your sinuses feel blocked or your head feels heavy. Use the ear canal massage with your pinkies when you're feeling anxious, restless, or you can't stop your mind from racing. And use the behind the ear massage at night to settle your system and fall into this deeper sleep. These aren't gimmicks. They're based in solid physiology, and they give you something no pill can do, a way to take control of your nervous system with your own hands. So the next time you feel stressed, congested, foggy, or unable to sleep, remember this. Your ears are more than just cartilage. They are access points to one of the most powerful nerves in your body. And by touching, pulling, or massaging them, just in these simple ways, you can flip the switch into your parasympathetic system back on, heal faster, breathe easier, and rest deeper. I challenge you. Try these techniques whenever you need them. Use it during the day, before you go to bed, and I promise you, your body will love you. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you found it very informative and helpful. Share it with your loved ones, your friends. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.